big sacrifice for, for the role and the job that he does for uh, the community. Uh, you know, he's there when something happens, right? When, when things hit the fan, you know, your dad's one of the first ones to go. And he's been doing that for this community for 29 years. I mean, that, that's a, a tremendous accomplishment. And that's one of the things I always appreciate with, when I when I met uh, various employees here. I actually see someone sitting out here that we have a, a very good crop from employees that have been here for a long period of time and really put their heart into what they do. You know, Dave, you're a guy that, that brought your heart every day to this job. And when you walked into City Hall here, and you guys should be very proud of him, um, very proud of the job he's done. I know that everybody else is here is very proud of him. And on, on behalf of, of myself and, and others that you'll hear from, um, the elected officials that are here today and mayors here today and have come before. I just want to, Dave, thank you for everything that you've done for the city. Uh, you guys be very proud of him. Uh, take care of him in, in his retirement, right? Uh, you know, you'll be in city life, but you'll be, you'll be moving on, and that's good. And uh, we just appreciate everything you've done for us, for myself and those who came before us. Okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you. David Keller. <laughs> this will be a little lighthearted. 29 years on the job. Remember, I started here 26 years ago. You were just a kid. You're only about this tall. Over there. <laughs> Are you standing? <laughs> By the way, I read your little thing in the paper. Now that you have some time on your hands, are you going to start working out on you? <laughs> I'm kind of rotten, I'm sorry. <laughs> or maybe you learn how to golf because you're really embarrassed in the golf with. I'm sorry. It's a... Now you're going to have time for those pedicures you always wanted and manscaping you probably need. <laughs> with your attention to detail and always asking questions. Every time I call you with a problem or, or traffic issue or ongoing robbery, you always had a question right back at me. And it's usually, yeah, whatever. You have a cigar of beer Friday? <laughs> I'm, I'm available. There's always questions. <laughs> uh, training, so I wanted to get you this little training uh, booklet. There's your own highlighter. Have that. And this is a uh, collector's edition of the American Public Works Manual that you can cherish the rest of your life. <laughs> and there's something very special that we, I want you to wear this when you actually are working out, you always think of your friends over at Public Works. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> Dave is a big loss to the city of Park Ridge, and I know we're all sorry to see him go. He was and always will be an honorable man and a stand-up guy. I always thought of him as old school, kind of like me and a go-to person when I need something for Public Works. And yes, you're still my buddy, and you're always invited to have a beer and a cigar on a Friday call. Congratulations. So this isn't a fire retirement. I'm Jeff Sorensen, I'm the fire chief. Um, we are going to miss Dave. Dave was very helpful. You're not getting out of any roasting, by the way. This is just the start. Uh, Dave was always very helpful. I like uh, Wayne's comment, old school. Um, Dave did a lot uh, to help the fire department. He was definitely someone you could communicate with. Uh, always got to the meat of the issue, talked about you know what needed to be talked about, and we're definitely going to miss that um, not having you around. Um, and I think uh, it's testament to uh, the companionship and the and the uh, ability to work together. You see a lot of guys from the fire department here today, so. I wasn't here when Dave started. I think I was actually in grammar school. <laughs> but, uh, so I always feel I'm always a little bit uh, gun shy is not the right word. I'm always a little bit shy to talk about uh, someone that was here long before I started, but uh, that's my job. And I just wanted to thank you on behalf of the fire department for everything you did uh, to help us. So with that, uh, we got you some gifts. <laughs> All right, and uh, oh no, cigars too. Um, and then uh, I think you find this one particularly uh, helpful. This is a fire safety checklist for older adults. <laughs> but actually, the other uh, gift we have for you is um, 
and they actually have a lot of these at the place you're going to and also uh, your police department has these too. These are called challenge coins and these are, uh, you know, to demonstrate everything that you did for the fire department while you were here. And uh, so the, the key behind a challenge coin is uh, when you carry your challenge coin from the place you work, if you're ever caught without it, you have to buy a round. So make sure you get your challenge coin for wherever you're going and carry it. Um, but also the challenge coin in this case, I challenge you to find a cushier job. I mean, no one likes a quitter, Dave. 29 years coming up. So, anyways, great job, Dave. We we'll appreciate it. And uh, there's some other stuff in here for you. But you know, you'll need a bag. Keep all your stuff together. And uh, thank you very much. Dave Keller, <laughs> 25 years ago, one of Dave's favorite things to do, Officer Keller at the time, the old garage at 1200 Elm Street, Dave Keller would like to, in the wintertime, would like to pack a nice snowball, <laughs> open up the vehicle maintenance door, look for me, and try to peg me. <laughs> so I was going to bring a snowball today, but I thought it wasn't appropriate. But anyway, so the one day, we had, um, but, uh, the assistant director, John Morrell, at the time, some people may remember John. So John was in the garage, walking. And lo and behold, I see Dave Keller and uh, Bill Bacon outside, and I know Dave's going to get a snowball. So I try to position myself next to the uh, assistant director so that when he throws a snowball, I'm going to say something. So lo and behold, Dave throws a snowball, not a good shot, misses me, almost hits the director, realized what he did, took off like he never believed. <laughs> I just want to throw a story in there. Dave will not find a better individual. You know, the job he does is all about balance, and I don't know anyone that could balance the job so well. What a phenomenal job. I've known Dave since the day he started, and a great person, a great police officer, a great deputy chief. Phenomenal job. They don't come any better. Thank you, Dave Keller, for your service. Thank you. The, uh, the community of Park Ridge were fortunate to have the, uh, the son of Neville, Diane, and Marge Keller got to service for 29 years. Um, Dave didn't always want to get into management and leadership while in the force. Um, his younger years, he, before he got his head out of his ass, he just really wasn't quite sure if he, he wanted to stay and really get into leadership. And decided that's what he wanted to do because that's what Dave does. Dave sets goals and he accomplishes them. Um, whether it's personal, with his wonderful, beautiful wife who is a great family, or, um, or a professional. He is one of those people who will not say, I wish I would have. I regret doing that. I don't think Dave has any regrets sitting here today, professionally and personally, with everything he's done in the past 29 years and the past 58. <laughs> 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 um, Dave always has been and will be my hero. And uh, love him to death, and incredibly proud to have always dropped his name whenever I needed it. So, <laughs> <laughs> it got me off a few speeding tickets, and that's something I'm proud of, and something I'm going to miss, actually. <laughs> watch my behavior from here on in. So I just wanted to, uh, um, from uh, the Keller family, the soul of our family, retiring today, just want to let you know I love you, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of you. Lots of stories out there, a lot of awards and 
special moments that everybody has had with Dave. I've had a few in the short time that I've been here. Uh, but I think there'll be memories that everybody will all cherish. Uh, he had a great career. I know he's going to be recognized at City Council tonight. Uh, there'll be a resolution, and that resolution just briefly says, you know, all the assignments he worked in, detective, warrant officer, range officer, defensive tactic coordinator, field training officer, administrative commander, investigations commander, and then deputy chief of operations. A lot of, a lot of assignments. A very well-rounded career. Um, now, I've only known Dave for a short time, and when of you have known him longer than, than I have? I, I had a snapshot of about uh, a little over well, five years starting my sixth year. And I thought, oh, well, here's my takeaways. Here's my takeaways from Dave. Uh, he, he is certainly a devoted family man. We're all very fortunate. He talks about you guys all the time. He is very devoted to you. Close to him. He, I know you are a special person in his life, which is very nice. The kids, he always talks about the kids. I, anytime I'm driving, he's calling you. Yeah, how you're doing and what's going on. That, that, is just, that is just marvelous. Very lucky to have a father like that. Uh, you know, he has been committed uh, to moving the department in a different direction. Uh, you could say he drank some of the Kool-Aid. But uh, we've talked many a times, and I think that he saw the value and the, uh, the need to help move the department in a different way. And he embraced that, uh, and that says a lot about his character. Uh, but other than that, too, he's a good person. My gosh, he's a good person. He has, I always told him, he got tremendous people skills. And anytime I get somebody that's really tough to deal with, I give him the day. <laughs> <laughs> you get those citizens who call, want to give you just a hard time, and Dave has such a, such a way to massage those individuals and um, uh, really make a bad situation good. He's a problem solver, not a problem finder. You know, he doesn't try to punt everything to everybody else. Uh, but when, you know, Jared, too, Dave, I was watching a, 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 I think it was an HBO special the other day, and they used the term super mensch. Uh, and I said, you know, I thought this word mensch had a very negative connotation, but really when you did the research on it in, uh, in, the, uh, in the Jewish culture, I'm going to read you what the definition of a mensch is. A mensch means a person of integrity and honor. It is nothing less than character, rectitude, dignity, and a sense of what is right, responsible, and decorous. It has been used to describe a good person but more so is used to describe what characterizes a better human being. I said, point, oh, you're a super mensch, you know that? You are, you're a super mensch. Um, you know, there's, there's kind of an you know, informal joke in the department that, like, Dave is my uh, adopted son. You know, many people joke about that constantly. I hear, I hear things. And uh, uh, I have to say, Mr. Keller, uh, if he was my son, I couldn't be proud. You should be very proud of your son. He's a, he's, 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 he's a great guy. Uh, today, I, st I started off as a good day, and I thought, I'm losing Dave today, so it's been kind of a bad day for me. I'm really going to miss him. But you, you as a his father, should be very proud. I would be proud of him. He's a, he's a great guy. Uh, but, I, you know, when I arrived, he was a little rough around, rough around the corners a little bit. A little bit. But there was something in him he had, I saw his great potential. And I think he came a long way from commander. To and the best part of your job when you get in these positions is probably, when, as you all know, is when you see people really grow and develop. And come from one point and get to, the, get to that next point. And uh, I just could not be proud of him, of what he's accomplished and how he's transitioned. And, uh, you know, we're at probably at a point in our relationship now where, you know, I, I have no problems leaving him in charge, letting him handle things. I kind of tend to forget about it now, give it to Dave, and I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I value his ideas and opinions, and I'm at the point now where, you know, I admit I'm wrong and he's right. So, uh, uh, 
He's got a bright future ahead of him. Uh, he's done all the right things in the last 29 years. Uh, he, he gets to look back and said he did it. He goes out on top. Uh, and, and like I said, all the rest now from now on is icing on the cake. So it's all good. So I have some presents for you from half the department for all those and all the phone calls he's had to make yeah. and everything. <laughs> so thank you. My brother, Alfredo, Hitch, whatever we would call you at the time, um, always makes me laugh and makes me smile. I love him. My best friend since I've been 10 years old, Steve Greenberg, you guys may have referred him, heard him as uh, Greeny, uh, best person I know in the whole world. And then friends and neighbors, Everybody, uh, old friends, new friends, and I got my two beautiful children, Michael and Christina, who I'm so proud of. I love you both. And then the back home of our family, uh, my beautiful wife Rose, uh, who's put up with a lot of my crap for 26 years, and uh, I'm grateful. Thank you. So, uh, 29 years. Uh, it's a long time. A lot of things happen. 29 years, a lot of changes. Lots of changes in police work, some good, some not so good. But there's still something that's very important to me, and that's this uniform. Um, I remember when I was in fourth grade when we moved from Chicago to Skokie, and my best friend Green, my first friend, just hear the story of no worry, it's Green Bay. He had this beautiful Green Bay Packer uniform. <laughs> and it was the full, it was the helmet, it was the pad. Now back in the day, Bart Starr was it. He was a two-time Super Bowl champ. He was a Super Bowl MVP. Um, he had a great last name, Starr. And Greeny was kind enough to let me wear that uniform when I moved in. So when I put that thing on, it was the coolest feeling and it took so much pride in. And every day after school, I would go home and I would wear that uniform to the park. And we would play football in that uniform. <laughs> And then sometimes we would transition and we would play baseball, we would play basketball, but I still kept that uniform on. So I was playing basketball in full shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> so I was the man to move. some of the parents were going, boy, that new kid, I'll tell you, he's, he's really into us, but I'm sure he's going to be riding the short bus a little bit. <laughs> same feeling, how cool it was, and that sense of pride, that same sense of pride when I put that uniform on, and, and what the uniform stands for. And this morning, I put my uniform on for the last <coughs> time, and uh, it made me reflect a little bit. All the people who have come into my life since 1986, some are here today, some have moved on, some have retired, and some unfortunately have passed away. And you know what, after 29 years, still putting on this uniform is still pretty cool. And I'm a lucky man, and nobody makes it entirely on their own. And I have a lot of people who've helped me through my life and through my career. Too many to name individually, but I want to thank all of you. There's much to be grateful in my life, but one of the greatest things to me are the relationships that I've had over the last 29 years. The stories, the laughs, the situations and the people that we've helped. And of course, some of the crazy ass people in this community. <laughs> so, I'm to so I'm moving on to a new chapter in my life. And I know this is going to be a great opportunity for me and my family. Um, but I know it's going to be a difficult transition. I've been doing this since I've been 23 years old and it's the only thing I know. So I will miss putting on this uniform. I will miss helping, I will miss the laughs, I will miss being the police, but most of all, I'm going to miss all of you. So thank you very much for coming today.
Comfortable and happy at the same time. Uh, you're gonna do great at whatever job you do next, or the O'Hare thing. So you're gonna love it. Don't don't mess it up, kid. <laughs> and keep on, you keep on trucking. Um, I'm standing next to your son, and I was thinking, hey, look, you're in my heart, buddy. I love you, guy. I'm proud of you. Uh, it's a pretty cool party you have here. Um, since fourth grade, fourth grade, we've been best friends. I'm proud of you, I love you, I can't believe I'm at your retirement party. It's kind of amazing to me. We've been through a lot together. Thanks for being there for me, and I'm proud of you. God bless. Dave, we're going to miss you. Um, good luck with your new career. You're always going to be my favorite Jew, just so you know that, alright? Love you. I will miss you, and you better keep those payments coming because I know a lot after 28 years. Shall we talk about Higgins when we were tactical officers? Shall we talk about golf balls after Eddie's funeral? Shall we talk about, let's see, what else do I have on here? Sleeping behind Heinz. What else do I have? Uh, raking with lawn furniture. You know what I mean. I miss you, brother. Best of luck. And uh, let's enjoy your retirement together. <laughs> My grandfather's a weird man. Hi, Dave. We just want to tell you how proud of you we are and how much we love you and support you. You're such an important part of our family, and uh, we feel very blessed that uh, we have a relationship with you and your kids and your wife and your extended family. We love you very much, Dave. This is a great day for you. Something that uh, we're just really proud to be a part of. Love you, Dave. I'm so proud of you. And I can say more than that. John has said everything. Just big kiss, congratulations. All right, buddy. Talk to you soon. Hey, Dave. Congratulations hey, Dave. on your retirement. Incredibly proud of you. Best of luck with everything at O'Hare. Just uh, incredibly happy for you, Rose, and the whole family. So. Very proud of you. I know you're going to do wonderfully in your new venture. So best of luck to you. And uh, the Parkridge Department is going to be lost without you. That's right. I've got to find a new source. There's going to be tons of crime now. So I'm staying far out of Parkridge. We've gone out of the Parkridge. Love you. Bye, guys. We just want to say congratulations to Dave and good luck in the new position. Absolutely. Congratulations, Dave. And we have him a long time. Oh, look, there he is now. Hey, Dave, I'll always remember all my times of detectives with you. Definitely the most fun in my career. It was a short time that we were partners, but it was a blast. I always remember doing an interview in the detective office, and you kept coming in and then going out and calling me on the phone to make comments. You remember that one? All the stories I could tell. Congratulations on your 29 years. We're going to miss you. I hope we still see you. Enjoy. As long as that gorilla doesn't come back. Oh, we're on video. It's Congratulations, Dave. You're the best. I love you. Hi, sweetheart. Congratulations in 29 years. Thank you for being a wonderful provider and a wonderful husband. And I'm so looking forward to what you're going to accomplish in your new career. I have full confidence in you, as I always have. I love you and enjoy tonight. Retirement year, oh, you're so wonderful. 
Nobody can do all 